far as I'm concerned, if his people hating, they can still suck a dick. Been a drill, but you sick. Every deal with the shit. Real niggas always gon' excel for me. Bitch, I'm good, yeah, I'm straight. Hit the wood, it was lace. High as fuck, feeling great. Wait for never mind. Say, y'all, I need some water. Do I got some in here? Nope. Okay, after I get done with this video, I'll go give me some water. I promise. Um, y'all, so I was on the phone with my friends and every conversation with her is like an upgrade. It's me. Um tapping back into myself and getting like her conversations help me get grounded they bring me back down they're like therapy sessions so i really dig that um i'm through i've washed my face finally and moisturized and put some goddamn um butter on my lips so they're luscious um i wanted to get out here to talk about this situation that I had thoughts today about <sighs> money has been very tough for me. Um, I've struggled with it, like, um, whew, can't get it out. Um, I've struggled with having healthy money management for a long time. I'm only 21, but it's been a, a minute. Like, you know, I just, it was always something, you know, when you grew up in a household where the idea of money is just held to that standard you know most families black families and black communities the idea of money is like it's so rare and that it's held to this ideal that it's hard to come by and you know stuff like that especially like with working and what type of working class you're in like middle class which is lower class, whatever, you know, working class, middle class, and then, yeah, the higher, I don't even know the name, but the higher one. But, um, you know, income, shit like that, that has just been always a topic in my house and just um, something that has just followed me to adulthood. And it's like, I want to make a lot of moves where I break those cycles, those curses on the idea of money and that it's bad you know or whatever it's just your habits and how you spend money and then how money was viewed from you growing up like you subconsciously absorb all of that shit and that's your understanding whatever you see and go through growing up that's what you become that's what you project that's that's what your um perception of the world is whatever you see that's that's what you embody basically so um story time i always thought that i was going to go to college like 2020 was going to be the year i graduated i graduated high school in 2016 so i'm like four years 2020 i'll be done then i probably go to go get my master's degree online that's like a year and a half if i do it you know in a year that's five years of school and i'll be done by 22 23 you know i'll be you know traveling whatever things like that um well no that didn't happen because i graduated i went to college um it was because i didn't make it to my junior year it was sophomore I did fall semester and I didn't go back for the spring. Um, see, that was like 19, the end of 18, the end of 18. So when that wrapped up, um, I moved in with my aunt and things like that. And being on this spiritual journey, oh my gosh, you learn so much about yourself and I learned a lot about me during that process and it was really like I, I think after school ended I stayed there for about four months yeah and I moved out um because I was actually the person that made the environment unhealthy and not being aware of the things that I had on my heart 
and the toxic behaviors that I was carrying with me, um, it came to light and I had to deal with that. I had to deal with it and accept the consequences of my actions, accept everything that I was doing um, and not doing. So I moved back home and uh, that was April. Moved back home and then um, in May, June, I was here. I was I was back at home, and all my projects had went aside because I was like very dedicated. I wanted to do my podcast, things like that, and everything. And all of that went on the back burner. I was in this complete funk, like this depression, and um, that's the best way I could describe it. Because I say depression, and yes, yeah, depression. But when you're on a spiritual journey, it's just the emotional roller coasters that you have that you go through and everything is a choice but i was choosing to stay in my sadness because i wanted to punish myself that was the way i could punish that was the way that i felt was deserved for someone who would treat someone the way that i did um yeah just being extra 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 like hard on myself um and i went to live with my sister um, she lives in Alabama and I went there for like a month in the summer, maybe from June to July. It was the day before my birthday from, um, yeah, just irrelevant, uh, irreconcilable differences. I think that's the word I want to use, but she hit the fan. So I left and I came back home. And so I've been here, been back at home since July and, um, it's been good like first it was it was good and then I was I found myself like going back into the depression again like I could really feel the mood changes and um the emotional roller coasters it was like one week happy smiling and you know bright like my complexion is bright and then next week or maybe even the next day it's like I'm in bed I've slept like 20 hours and I can't really move I don't want to move I don't want to do anything healthy I don't even want to get up to go pee I don't even want to do I don't want to hydrate and it's like I'm isolating myself I'm like angry because I'm not knowing where that's coming from and so right now um now it's December and then like I'm just starting my YouTube finally and doing that and so proud of myself by the way so proud that I took that initiative and doing it because it's a big step for me um but I've always wanted this. I've always wanted to have this anyway. And I just started making a bunch of changes. Cut my hair. Um, started the YouTube. Started to want to heal better. Because I felt like I was just in this space. Like I was, I was like, I just don't feel like I'm healing. I don't feel like I'm doing a goddamn thing. And that's just the truth. And then stuff started to shift. It's like the power of words. How you use them can really help benefit your life or they can help hurt them. Um, it's all about the intention, all about the energy that you put in the words. You know, when you say something and you believe it and you're like, I'm fucking tired of this. I want to move forward. Like, I'm not going to stay here. What the hell do I need to see within myself? What do I need to own up to, accept, understand, release to get to this level? That's, that's really like all about me. And I said that to say that whole little backstory because I lost my job. I was working with my family and I lost my job and then moving back home. And so I was struggling. I was like angry about that shit. I was like, I have no money coming in. I have bills like, you know, credit card bills saying that, oh, the girl's credit is fucked. It's fucked up. But the more that I let that sit and just i was adding things like this like everything that's going fucking wrong i was like i didn't have time to appreciate what was going right i didn't like i was still so blessed and fortunate but i couldn't see that because i was going through things and i didn't want to speak about it and i didn't know how to communicate it um i didn't know how to say the stuff that was on my heart because i was so in my head and i was so angry and so frustrated at my situation so frustrated at myself and like how the fuck did we get here like when did it start going downhill you know when did you not pay attention to how you were spending your money or when did you you know why didn't you start saving like things like that like you could have saved a percentage of your check and it's like i definitely said i was going to do that but i didn't 
and um so i didn't have anything to fall back on i was just like you know and so i was searching for anything i was searching god damn it for anything to make me feel happy again alive just to get out of that funk and i found that through um my poetry page i started writing i didn't know what to say verbally but i had the words in my head and i could write them down and or kind of articulate it in a way where i understood it um and that's and a lot of my poetry has came um has come in ways where i'm in deep shit i'm in myself too much or i'm just like super <laughs> out of this world like i'm numb like a lot of my best stuff i've yeah yeah but um right now the thing about jobs i really do not want a job i don't want a job that doesn't align with who i am um i don't want to work for anybody and i made that clear because i think i intended that anyway because around the, the end of the last few months of working with my family i was like i don't work for it anybody it's not the thing it's just i want to be my own boss i want to do my own thing um i definitely don't like being told what to do and it wasn't you know that part of you know just like i enjoy my job i enjoy the responsibilities it's just i wanted that transition and um just going through all of my shit and being away and taking time for myself i've just learned on what type of boss i need to be the type of person that i need to be to make this work the things that i need to give up in order to get to my end result of whatever my dreams and visions are um and working on how to ask for that working on the words that best fit um and that align with the things for my highest good like i didn't know how to ask for things i didn't know what to say so that definitely taking time to myself and being forced to look at me forced to see like you need to correct this because if you do like you're gonna push everybody away and that's the thing that um i've noticed is i'm very good at pushing people away um i think because relationships are hard they're hard as fuck to do you have to give so much energy to them you have to be accepting of that person's space and listen being open to listen to them being open to understand their perspective where they're coming from admitting your faults that's some shit I, I don't like doing um but I, I understand every fucking thing I understand it's like and when you get in those spaces where you're actually healing and you do that and you um it's a two-way street you see the changes you see the work the effort and you understand what it really means to dedicate and take time for shit like that so I understand it um but I'm definitely also in a space where I cannot handle um relationships right now unless it's something that is like soul fulfilling um someone who could support me and my dreams and we really like the relationship brought about a lot of healing for both of us and we both become better people because of it and not and I'm not trying to say that I would be the bigger person because I might be the one that they might have to carry but it's just um I think we all like to hold I think that's ego right there wanting to hold me as the person that could you know that I'm just superior and it's like I'm not superior to anybody and I'm definitely not inferior we're just all on our own shit and it's like you know I'm trying to learn how not to compare um some very negative habits that I have learned about myself is the jealousy I've had that for a long time <laughs> I've had that for a long time because you compare and not you but me I compare because I felt I lacked a lot um and not just lacking a lot in material things and wanting to compensate for what I I lacked at home like emotionally but yeah I lacked emotionally the foundation for myself I lacked love and compassion for myself so it's like you know if I saw someone with that confidence yeah lacked confidence if I saw someone with that I would be jealous I'd be like you know just like you know you speak ill on that person or you kind of just throw bad vibes and it's like now 
if I feel myself doing that, I step the fuck away and I take some time to reflect and reset myself because if I'm doing that, I'm not where I need to be. I'm out of alignment with my true self because my true self don't give a fuck about that shit. We're not jealous. We're just doing our own thing. We're uplifting and encouraging other people because that's what it's about. Um, what else? I wrote this down like shit. I should know this by heart. But yeah, damn. Uh, I think I deleted it. But things like just being jealous and not wanting to communicate my feelings and isolating myself. And I, honestly, y'all, when I was in the meditation, I did this thing where visualization is so important and holding space for. The feeling and, and how you would feel when you get something is how you manifest. Like you get in this good space, start your day off right, and then get in this routine of a healthy lifestyle. And that's why I started this because I want to encourage people to live a better lifestyle. Not a healthier, like everybody has to go vegan, everybody has to use crystals, everybody has to meditate, everybody has to do yoga, everybody has to tell the truth, everybody has to take this path. No everybody just it's always room for improvement you're not perfect nobody on this planet is perfect you can always improve your lifestyle with small changes whether it's buying a better toothbrush buying a different brand of toothpaste buying or giving away your clothes to help someone like that's those are habits and things that raise your vibration and that is like saying that you care for yourself saying that you care about other people like it's small things like if i can help someone do one better thing to improve their life like because they watched my video or they heard my words and it's like yeah then it's like that's what i want to do um but yeah i just start if you start your day get a routine and then hold the vibration of how something will feel every day even if it's just 10 seconds and you feel it, you just close your eyes and you visualize yourself there, you smile about it, whatever. Congratulations, you're manifesting. That's something to do. That's something you can do. And I didn't understand that shit. You have to be in a certain space. Like, I was so low, low for a long time. Like, it took me like six months to get to this space. Because it was hard for me. I felt, I didn't feel like I could do this shit. I didn't feel like I could help heal myself. I didn't feel like I could get out of certain situations. I just... I'm fidgeting a lot. I didn't feel like I could help me. I didn't feel like I could do the shit that I wanted to do for other people. I didn't feel like I could do that to me. And then now I see that that's a whole goddamn lie. And I've done that. And I'm going to continue to do that because this is an everyday thing. Healing is an everyday thing. If you wake up every day, it's an opportunity to be better. To heal yourself better today. To, you know, look inside your heart. Figure out that shit that is hindering you from getting to the place that you want. It's not always other people. You know, definitely it can be other people, of course. But then you have to look at yourself like, why am I choosing to stay around these people if I understand that they are detrimental to my health emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually? Like, why am I still choosing? That's something within you, boo, that you got to look at. You know, you got to be like, well, why am I shit? You know? So that's just a little story time and I know once I get to talking, you know, this 18 goddamn minutes right here, but I'm trying to edit this up and I might keep it like this because this is raw and uncut and, um, yeah. So, so y'all hope y'all have a great day. Whenever you watch this, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you intend on having a better day and I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.